is not how this is supposed to work. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the 22nd. I'm losing count, there's so many days. 22nd day of Christmas. 23rd day of Christmas. We're doing it out here at the ranches at Belt Creek, Montana. Ugh. And we've got Armory Montana out here supplying us some guns. They brought some really cool guns today as well as a flamethrower. And listen, here is what our plan was today. We wanted to see how bulletproof our snowmen. Everyone thinks about that when they're merrily making snowmen near Christmas time. The problem is it's in the negative teens right now. So this is the best we could do. We had to bring water out here and form this snowman. It was really hard. It's very cold out here. So that's the best we got. Listen, this is a Texan guy trying to make snowman, okay? That's, that's all I can do. We made one snowman. I have no idea what we're gonna do with the rest of this video. We'll probably just shoot some snow and be like, look how cool that was. You wanna see the first gun? This is a Volkortsen 22 long rifle, hollow sun on top, AB suppressors, little bird, suppressor up front. And we'll see what a 22 does to our happy little snowman's face. We actually contemplated, should we save the snowman for the big guns and like the flamethrower? And then we're like, nah, we'll just shoot a 22, it'll be fine. Totally nothing will happen. He doesn't have a head. This thing's so quiet. All right, let's go investigate and see if it went through. Hmm. Yeah, I went through. Next up, Glock 19, we have a SIG suppressor. This is a nine millimeter. We're shooting subs, big, heavy ones, 147 grain subs. Uh, I'm gonna hit him in the midsection because his top section is a little bit compromised. Okay, I'll just do one more. First one went through here, boom. Second one went through there and you actually can see daylight. So nine millimeter did go straight through the midsection of our snow friend. Good to go. Let's see what else we have. Next is the 12 gauge. This is an IWI TS-12. Uh, it has the rotating mag tubes down here. We have a Rex Selenium uh, 12 gauge suppressor on the front of it. And we're pretty sure it would just destroy what is left of our snowman. So we're going to try to just shoot snowballs out of the sky. Yeah, pull. Holy cow. I got it. <laughs> nope, I'll miss. Should have stopped on the first one. Got it. Whew. I've actually never put, I have one of these. I've never put a suppressor on it though. That's pretty sweet. I have no ears on and we're just freaking playing around 12 gauge. I like it. Ah, we're gonna shoot this thing, this is interesting. It's a bullpup semi-auto 12 gauge, Gracer from Fort Myers, Florida. I've never seen one of these before. We have the same suppressor on this one. We got iron sights, we got a little ghost ring peep sight back here. All right, pull. Man, I never saw it. Pull. Got it. I definitely nailed that, even though it looked like I didn't. I'm not actually shooting at anything here. I'm just trying to look cool. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, the sound of the suppressed shots bouncing off the hills is pretty insane. Poop in the snow. All right, I just had an idea. I just want to see what happens if I try to get as close to the ground as possible, like I'll basically parallel and then shoot a bullet. I just want to see if I can make like a really long line or it won't happen, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna try to get real low. Here we go. Nope, that made like a four foot line. I'm gonna try to get a little more parallel. Oh, that was cool. That first one hit here and it, I think it actually made the best one. It made about a four foot line. We had another one hit here and this is actually pretty shallow and then it came out and that's exactly what these look like too there's one that barely touched here so I think the bullet I mean you can see where it started I don't know if you guys can see it on camera it started touching here 
came in and then it just shot up. Same thing there. This one actually went pretty deep. I kind of wanted to just really spend a lot of time going through there. Physics was like, nah, it's not how it works, man. Next up is one that I'm a little scared of. This is a, uh, a lever action chambered in 50 Alaskan. It's bigger than 500 Magnum. That's a big old boy. All right, we're just gonna shoot our little friend here. Ah, oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh no! Why do you scare me like that? Notice that no flinch though? All right, let's try it again. Oh man. Pause, technical difficulties. There's a safety I didn't know about. Now it will fire. That's your round right there. 450 grains. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I'll have another. Let's actually just go through the pile. All right, let's go see what we got. Woo! -wee! In through there, out through there, and then you can see where it carried on. Let's uh, let's go ahead and fire one more. I'm just gonna hit that pig right there. Dude, this thing's got a thump. We got one more round. Yeah, that thing's mean. Does anyone know? Do they have a revolver chambered in this round? They have to, right? If so, I need one. Uh, the wind's picking up. It's getting freaking cold out here. Uh, but this is our shirt today. So this is our long sleeve. It's actually one of our cooler shirts. This is pretty sweet. So get your demolition shirt. It's linked in the description below. And everyone who orders this shirt is entered into winning a stay out here at the ranches at Belt Creek. You can come out when it's cold, come out when it's warm. Uh, they have cabins for just like you and your significant other, like little nice cabins if you wanna hang out or if you wanna come with a party, they got a place that sleeps up to eight people. And we're giving away a four night, five day stay out here at the ranches at Belt Creek. And you get 50% off all of your activities. So they have horseback riding, they have skeet shooting, they have four by four trail riding. We went uh, snowmobiling, a lot of cool stuff out here. And then you also get 25% off all your food. So we're gonna pick someone who orders this shirt to win that trip. It's pretty sick. And don't forget, everyone this whole Christmas season is entered into winning this truck. And I went ahead and just made a music video for you. It's the best music video you've ever seen. It's the most wonderful truck of the year. With giant box shocks and the sturdy bead locks to impress all your peers. It's the most wonderful truck of the year. There'll be dirt trails for thrashing, big boulders for bashing, and donuts out in the snow. There'll be four by four riding, some off-road mud sliding, and high fives from all of your bros. It's the most wonderful truck of the year. It's a Ford F-150, it gets kinda drifty when you leave first gear. It's the most wonderful truck, yes the most wonderful truck, oh the most wonderful truck of the year! Oh no, guys, there's a coyote about to eat my snowman friend. He's invincible, and I'm out of ammo. What should, what should I do now? Leave my snowman friend alone. I'm gonna melt the snowman too. Dude, that snowman's tough. Kids, this is what nightmares are made out of. Rabid, on fire, coyotes coming after you.
big thanks to Armory Montana. These guys made the last three days possible. Appreciate you guys. We're gonna link them in our uh, description below, their socials, and they have a lot of a lot of cool weaponry that let us play with, so I really appreciate it. Dollar solid. America! Thanks so much to Armory Montana. Thanks to the ranches at Belt Creek. Don't forget that you guys can win a trip out here. All right, we are heading back to Texas to finish up this Christmas series. Thanks so much for watching the last three freezing days at Demo's Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. That's all it is, neighbors. Go back aside. You're not going to hurt anybody anymore. Mikey, he's dead. He's dead. Oh. Hey, don't spray it into the wind. It's the same thing as peeing, except that you catch yourself on fire. You don't just get pee on your pants. Like, don't do it. You'll die. Don't do this. That's how people die or get pee on their pants, depending on which one you're doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, cut.